Hey guys, what's up? The name is Luke Make, and this is my review for A Walk Among the Tombstones. So A Walk Among the Tombstones is the new detective drama starring Liam Neeson, and this is still kind of Liam Neeson in that era of I'm a badass action star, and I'm going to star in movies like Nonstop and Taken and Unknown and things like that, but when I saw the trailer for A Walk Among the Tombstones, I was like, this movie looks really different. It, lo it doesn't look like your typical, na nowadays, typical Liam Neeson movie. It looks like something that'd be a lot more just slower paced, just something that lets you breathe, and something that'd just be a really, really entertaining watch because some of my favorite movies are detective movies. I don't know why, but I really love that genre and I love detective work. I think it's so cool how detectives can analyze things and they can draw conclusions to things and I just really think that work is cool and I really like seeing movies about that. So A Walk Among the Tombstones, like I said, stars Liam Neeson and he basically plays a detective who is retired but he still does some work but it's unregistered work and what he does is he picks up this job from this drug dealer whose wife was murdered and he wants Liam Neeson to find the guys who did it and the movie turns into this really gripping and just really twisted and violent tale of these two or, or three guys I guess who are killing these drug dealers wives and girlfriends and stuff like that and Liam Neeson was awesome in this movie and A Walk Among the Tombstones is one of the greatest movies I've seen in the past three months or so. I really really enjoyed this movie. First of all the direction is awesome. A lot of the camera techniques are really cool and the style of this movie, there's a lot of slow motion and there's just a lot of really cool stuff going on with the direction in this movie. I really, really like that aspect of the movie. It's also pretty violent. Um, there are some pretty gruesome scenes in this movie and I really like it when a movie shows that realism and shows that in a very realistic way and that's exactly what it did. It wasn't really st over the top or anything with the violence in this movie. It all felt very grounded and very realistic. And like I said, Liam Neeson in this movie, this is definitely one of the best movies he's been in in recent memory and definitely one of the best performances I think that he's ever given. And there's a lot of supporting characters in this movie who are really likable too. All the performances across the board are impeccable and this movie is just so entertaining. There are only two beefs I have with it. One of them is that there's this like 10 minute gap in the movie where it doesn't really seem like anything is going on. It's about halfway through. It kind of slows down for a little bit, but right after that like 10 minute period it really starts to pick up again and I was automatically engaged it's not super hard to follow or anything and it, it's just it was just incredibly entertaining and I mentioned there were two things I didn't like about this movie the last one being there's an uh, the end scene a uh, character dies I'm not gonna tell you who and there's another character who should be really emotionally impacted by the death but he doesn't really seem to care whatsoever it's just like oh he died you know that was that part wasn't really written that well I don't think but other than that this movie was awesome, it has an incredible final scene, and the two psychopaths in this movie, the two like killers, I love those guys. Sometimes they're, this, some, this movie could sometimes be very, very darkly humorous. Like there were some scenes where I was kind of like chuckling, but it was really messed up because of the things these guys were saying. And Liam Neeson just killed it. And I really loved A Walk Among the Tombstones. It's one of my favorite movies I've seen, like I said, in the past three or so months. I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five stars. I definitely would recommend this movie. The ratings aren't super high for it. Even the user ratings on Flickster and IMDb aren't incredibly high and I really don't know why because this is a great psychotic detective just crime thriller it really is so that's my review you guys this is Luke Mick signing off please subscribe and I'll talk to you later